big interest in Anthony Martial. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St. Mary's Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Southampton up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. It's been well nigh impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of the game, playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two fours who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you for attending St. Mary's Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Armstrong. Can they trouble the opposition this time? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Bruno Fernandes happy to take on the shot putting his body on the line Oriol Romeu and he read it superbly Conte Promising possession, this. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Is it going to end up being productive for them? And there's the feed into the box. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? the replay and what a well delivered cross this is perfectly placed which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal
So 2-0 now. Armstrong. And the keeper has it now. De Ligt. Diogo Dallo. United might be able to cash in. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. Well, an own goal that has left them trailing and flailing. Keeps going. KK, please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Really good high press. Mustafa Mohammed. And with Donnarumma. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. And smart defending. Romain Perrault. Martial. Salisu and Stevens Diallo Anthony Martial gives it a go oh a save right out of the top drawer super stop Played over. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Danger averted for now. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Romeo. And behind it's gone for a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the clearance, half-hearted. So there goes the half-time whistle. United in front, Stuart. Positive signs for them. Well, as we highlight... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jack Stevens, Romeo, Armstrong. It's a weighted pass. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Something to worry about here. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's through here. A complete performance for in front now.
Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Diallo, Mohamed Salisu, Armstrong. Can he put it away? Oh, the Chester finish! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Jadon Sancho. Well, far from the ideal header, and the goalkeeper had it all the way. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game, and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Southampton facing Burnley. They've given it away. Well, the situation has changed, I'm hearing, in the Wolves game. Alex Scott can tell us more. And it's a goal for Wolves. They've scored the opener with 67 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Marquinhos, Angelino, in the right place to cut out the pass. Conte, cross-fired over. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV Live. It's Manchester United facing Olympic Lyonnais. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Let's see about the delivery. A decisive clearance it was. Well, it could be on for him here. Surely. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Oriol Romeu. It needs an accurate cross. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Angelino. Here's Ronaldo. And fed forwards. Bruno Fernandes. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that.
A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. Number 18, Bruno Fernandes, to be replaced by number 14, Jesse Lingard. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, a strong hand on the ball. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, Alto? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.